hey 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 what's up guys DAGWS here again with part 4 of uh, let's cheat Pokemon Crystal and yeah on last part we catch this beautiful Celebi here so now we must uh, continue our adventure and go to Golden Rod City but first we are going to face some trainers here so I will just speed up this part while we level up our Whoopi and yeah, uh, I have great plans for this part, so be sure to watch all the episodes, it's going to be great, I can assure that. So, uh, here we are facing this trainer, Goopy is doing well, we need to level it up a little more because, yeah, uh, we are going to face Whitney, the normal type gym leader, and that's not going to be easy because, as you know, I'm adding some challenge here that you are going to see later, but first... Let's uh, deal with this guy. More Spearows. Come on, Goopy, do your job. Nice, a uh, Sansru. And let's use Water Gun. Okay. Let's fade this guy. I believe it's a Pokemaniac with a Pikachu. Oh no, a snowball. Okay, mad slap, lower its accuracy. And let's proceed to headboot. Oh, we had a berry. Okay, we defeated that guy. And uh, let's go here into the Daker Center. As you know, on Pokemon Crystal, uh, this guy gives you an odd egg and I'm going to take this opportunity to do something that I forgot to do on first episode as someone pointed out on the comments, that is try to enter a battle only having an egg in the party. So how are we going to do that? Of course, we are going to use a Game Shark. So uh, let's put the egg on the first spot and Let's add a game shark here. That what it makes. Uh, this uh, says the game how many Pokemon do we have in our party. So here adding zero one, the game will think that we have only one Pokemon our at our party. So it, <laughs> yeah, it only shows the egg. The other pokes are there, believe me, but <laughs> the game can't see them. So let's try battling with only this guy. Let's see. Okay. The battle starts. Wild Rotat appeared. <laughs> and it ends. Uh, well, it's similar than when we had no Pokemon, but I think that when we had no Pokemon, uh, we couldn't see the animation of a wild Pokemon appearing. No. Let's see uh, facing a trainer. Okay. With no Pokemon, couldn't see this. No. Okay, he has a monkey. Let's see, let's send our egg. <laughs> no, it finishes too. Okay. But we are not at the Pokemon Center, so yeah, the game thinks we won. Okay, let's remove that and continue our adventure. Uh, yeah, let's put Whoopi again at the first spot, but yeah, it's time to go to Goldenrod City and heal our pokes because Cheater is dead, because Celebi destroyed it on last part. So yeah, that was funny, <laughs> having an egg and enter the battle. Okay, let's continue our training before going into the gym. So yeah, let's face this guy. Camper Todd. Psyduck. Okay. Nice shove. And for this trainer I will use a uh, cheater because yeah I remember she has grass type Pokemons, a Bulbasaur if I remember correctly. 
And yeah, two hoop beeps. Flamethrower into her face. That's right. So yeah, for this episode on the gym of witness gyms, I'm going to take into account a suggestion from Cheese Master on my previous video that he told me to to turn her Clefairy, her first poke, into a Tauros so she has uh, a couple of Tauros and Miltank as her team and also on one episode one of uh, one person commented that I wanted to see Tauros so I think that's a great idea I will just uh, turn her Clefairy into a Tauros and make her team a little more difficult to face and I have another thing prepared for Whitney but I'm not going to say it now it's going to be a surprise for later let's face this guy okay super nerd magnemite mud slap super effective yes Okay, more magnemites. Mud slap is four times, four. Uh, sorry, four times effective. So that's going to be easy to handle. Okay, and a poltor. Okay, he's faster, obviously. And that's it. Excellent. Let's continue. I believe coin case is here. Yes, we have the coin case. I'm not going to use it on this episode. On the future, I will probably do some cheats with that. If you have any ideas, don't forget that you can suggest them on the comments. I will take any ideas into account because I want you to be part of this. Okay, let's take this guy. Okay, and one more and we are going to be ready to go to the gym. Grimer. Okay, let's use Mad Slap. Oh, no more Mad Slap. Damn. Level 19. Uh, I will switch here because I don't have more Mad Slaps. Okay, flamethrower. Yeah, cheater is a boss. Okay, so now we are ready. I will heal my pokes and we are going to go to the gym. Okay, let's put normal speed again. And before entering the gym, I want you to watch this. Let's see, let's see. Let's put a 24 here and yes now we are part of Team Rocket why because I'm going to steal witness Miltang yeah the Pokemon that caused me trouble in my childhood it destroyed my team many times so now I'm going to revenge and I'm going to steal it <laughs> yeah but first we need to buy some Pokeballs and <laughs> yeah by the way that code that I'm put there uh, works differently in each uh, map but yeah I, I for golden rod it works as a rocket team member for the other places I don't know but yeah <laughs> it's funny to see it anyways and yeah the team rocket suit is <laughs> It's really awesome to have in this episode because yeah we are going to steal another trainer's Pokemon. So here we are, we are a rocket team member again. And let's go into the gym. Okay, here we are. Oh <laughs> we are a lady here. Okay. My character is trans, apparently. Okay, she has meowth, let's speed up this again. Oh, there. And. Uh, oh, payday. Hopefully, I get some coins there. 
Whoa, it's doing a lot. Okay, let's switch. Go cheater. And handle... Oh, wow! Slash critical hit. It is Shen 1 or what? <laughs> Come on. Let's continue. That crit hurt a lot. Okay. Hey, she's our sister. She has the same sprite but in another color. Okay. Centred. Should be easy to handle. Another centred. Go, Whoopi. Yes! <laughs> More centreds. Headboot all day. Okay, water gun. And yeah, well, we are close to reaching level 20, which is the level I think that Whooper evolves into Quagsire. I'm pretty sure of that. So, hopefully, we are going to see an evolution on this part. Okay, Snowball. Let's go with Headbat. Oh, Let's switch. <laughs> it's going to be a better idea. Okay, scary face, we can handle that. And take that flamethrower. Oh, it survived. Okay, crunch. Yeah, cheater is on level 21. I don't remember at which level uh, Honda were bobs. Okay, let's use that super potion. And one more trainer before facing Whitney. Let's see what she has. A Jigglypuff. Okay. Yes, flinch. And we are level 20. Cool. Another Jigglypuff. Uh, no, let's stay. Sink. Didn't affect us. That's good. And now another Shigglypuff. Okay, let's go with Cheater again. And take that Shigglypuff. Okay. So normal speed again. And yeah, Whoopi is evolving. Awesome! I love Quagsire. <laughs> it's such a cool poke. Let's see. Oh yeah. Nice whoopee, nice. Okay, let's go heal to the Poke Center. Because Cheater is on low health and we will need it alive for that Tauros. And, uh, well, after that we are going to be ready to face Whitney, so let's go to the Pocky Center. I love that Team Rocket suit, by the way. And yeah, we are ready. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, I already battled her. And okay, here we are against Whitney. First, I'm going to put Cheater as my lead, and we need to introduce some codes as we did with Bugsy's team. This time it's only one Pokemon, so there are less codes. That's right. Okay, let's go. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Okay, let's see what you have with me. Oh, it happened the same thing that with Bugsy, those uh, glitches, sprites. And yeah, that's her Tauros, it's at level 23 and I put its double edge, uh, curse, rest and sleep talk and leftovers as it's eaten. I had that problem with the HP again. I don't know how to fix it. Okay, let's go. Flamethrower. Oh yeah, he's faster. Ooh, that's going to hurt. 
Oh, one hit. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, well, Whoopi should be more bulky. Okay, let's use our new Quagsire here. Let's go with Matslap. Ooh, he's setting up with Curse. That's going to be dangerous. Come on, Whoopi, you can do it. Whoa, that did nothing. Nothing after that curse. Ouch. Ooh, plus one double edge hurts. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Oh, yes, he missed. Thanks, Mudslap. Yes, go, Whoopi, go. Hang on, hang on, Whoop. No, 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 Whoopi, no. Okay, luckily we have this level 30 Celebi, which should handle this guy. Okay, let's go with Ancient Power. And uh, let's see. Oh, it wasn't enough. Oh my god, well, <laughs> he went with rest, oh my god, at least, at least we got all those boosts on attack, defense, all the stats got boosted by ancient power, let's go with future sight because, yeah, after that curse, he's very bulky from the physical side, and, oh yeah, sleep talk called double edge, and it did a lot. For the level difference we have here. Okay, let's go with Ancient Power. It's doing really little damage. He can rest all the day. Come on. Double edge again. Okay. He should wake up this turn. Yes. And another curse. That's our bad news. Oh yeah, future sight. Yes, 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 that will take him out. Yes! Excellent. Well, that that Tauros was harder than what I thought. Well, here we are against Milton. Let's uh, try to weaken him for her first with ancient power. Yeah, now that she's on half of its HP, I will introduce a code here that makes uh, the game think we are in a wild battle and therefore we are going to be able to throw Pokeballs at this Pokemon. So here, adding 01, the game will think we are on a wild battle. Let's see. Uh, let's throw a Great Ball. Diego used the Great Ball. Yes, it worked. Come on, come on. One, two, oh, that was close. Okay, we have another chance. Please, please, this work this time, work this time. Come on. One, two, three. Oh, whoa, that was closer than the previous one. Oh, come on, come on. Work this time, please, 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 please. One, two, three. Yeah! Milton was caught! Excellent! Well, first of all, I'm going to remove this code before this breaks the game. And, um, yeah. Let's put a nickname. I'm going to name her Whitney as her old trainer. We up oh, with me. Cool. Wow! Wow! Snail hit you, mini. <laughs> now she has a reason to cry. We stole her precious Milton. Okay. What do you want? What do you want? A badge? Yeah. Alright, I forgot, here's plane badge, excellent, we got the plane badge and a meal tank, great. Okay, blah blah blah, and before ending this episode, I will remove uh, 
those codes. No, add, no. Remove all these codes. Uh, oh, we are a normal trainer again. And we are going to try that milk tank before finishing. Let's watch her. Okay, Whitney milk tank. What? What the fuck? It has no moves. Why? Why? <laughs> How did that happen? Ah! It has no moves. Well, I wasn't expecting that at all. I never used that code before, the one to steal other trainer's pokes. I don't know if it's a problem with the code or what, but yeah, I'm going to save the game here before trying Milton because yeah, maybe it makes the game crash entering a battle with no moves. And after watching what happens, it's going to be it for this episode. By the way, for next episode, I'm going to enter the bug catching coast contest, sorry, bug catching contest. So I want you to comment what kind of Pokemon do you want me to catch there, obviously uh, restrict to bug type, bug type Pokemon. Okay, let's see what happens, fight. Whitney has no move left, oh it uses struggle, I thought that the game would crash. Okay, nothing exciting here. For a next episode I will teach some moves to this, to this thing. And yeah, uh, that's it for this part guys, don't forget to leave your awesome feedback as always. And yeah, uh, we are seeing next time, don't forget to leave your suggestions for the bag catching contest. We are seeing next time, peace.